Hello and welcome back. Jay Madden here. We're going to get started on the first day of the 90 gallon Oceanic Tech Series tank build. You can see here, I've got the tank. Just got some lights on over it temporarily just so I can actually shoot a video that's actually worth a decent quality. Uh, there's a little bit of sand in it. Uh, that'll get vacuumed out. That's actually sand that's been in there since the day I purchased this tank and stand, which was just over two years ago. So that sand needs to go. Out here on the floor, I have everything laid out. See my dog making a cameo appearance. I've got all my plumbing parts for my drains and returns. Got my drain hoses, as well as some fittings that I'll be utilizing and my return plumbing, as well as some vinegar and of course my salt. I'll just go ahead and show you an overview here of everything. As you can see, it's just pretty much everything I'm gonna need. There are a few things that I still require, you know, such as different uh, fasteners and such for the hoses, but we'll at least be able to get it started getting it mocked up today. First thing that I purchased for the system was this here. This is the Megaflow kit. I purchased two of them since I have tool drains and dual returns. I went this route instead of trying to do the whole DIY thing. Uh, I think that the quality here is a lot higher than what I could accomplish, you know, with my PVC skills. Uh, and I like the adjustability feature of the telescopic Durzo that comes with this. Um, overall, the parts are really really high quality uh, the drain tubes are large um, everything is oversized and the dimensions are perfect uh, only thing that I really had to do was just cut the return pipe as a three-quarter inch pipe ID uh, to make it fit properly but other than that everything else was just plug-and-play Various bulkheads, one inch, three quarter inch universal, and a three quarter. All of my holes are drilled, all four of them, for one inch bulkheads. So I utilize the three quarter inch universal, which was really nice because it's a one inch size but takes a three quarter inch PVC. Here's a close up on this elbow. They really thought of a lot with this. They pre drill a hole for you, which is a siphon break. And this will prevent you from flooding your sump out if you don't have enough space in there to accommodate the event of a power outage. Here are the drain hoses and a little kit of primer and PVC glue. And these pieces are what I'm going to be using to take my two drains down to one um, because my sump only has one drain um, spot available. I'll go ahead and give you a close up of the parts and kind of describe to you briefly here what it is I'm going to accomplish. One inch union valve. Uh, this is going to be connected to this little setup that I'm going to do, which consists of this T. It's a slip slip female. That's going to screw into that little gray piece you saw me holding there into the union so I can disconnect both hoses at once from the sump if I want to move the sump out. And these are kind of nice. These are 90 degrees with a slip, internal slip. So the inside diameter is a little bit bigger than it would be if you used a one inch piece in between there. This is what I'm going to be replacing. It's just your standard 90 degree elbow. Uh, it's not going to be enough to accommodate what I'm trying to accomplish with the two drains. Next we'll go ahead and move on to bulkhead installation. Uh, the bulkheads went in really easy. As you can see, you got the universal three quarters on the ends, and the two in the middle are the one inch drains. It just gives you a lot of options as far as different hoses that you want to use for the ID on them. And this wrench was great, great tool, fit in perfectly, and there was no stripping of the plastic nuts, trying to use an adjustable crescent or some kind of pipe wrench. Well, that's going to wrap it up, guys. The next thing you're going to see is the tank getting filled with water on the next update. Stay tuned. Many more still to come. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your tanks and happy reefing.